Havana, the capital of Cuba, is a city that pulses with history, culture, and a sense of nostalgia. Its crumbling colonial facades, vintage American cars, vibrant street life, and infectious rhythms of salsa and sun all make it a unique and unforgettable destination. Havana is a place where the past and present meet, where revolution and resilience define the streets, and where every corner reveals something unexpected. From its old town, which feels frozen in time, to its modern cultural landmarks, Havana offers an experience like no other. This complete travel guide will take you through 12 must-see attractions and tourist spots that capture the essence of Havana, Cuba's beating heart. 1. Old Havana, La Habana Vieja. Old Havana, or La Habana Vieja, is the historic heart of the city, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that overflows with charm and character. Walking through the narrow cobblestone streets of Old Havana feels like stepping back in time. The area is filled with grand plazas, colonial-era buildings, and colorful pastel-painted houses that hint at Havana's former glory. Plaza de la Catedral, one of the main squares, is dominated by the stunning Havana Cathedral, a masterpiece of Cuban Baroque architecture. Nearby, you'll find the famous Bodeguita del Medio, where Ernest Hemingway once enjoyed mojitos. As you explore, don't miss the Plaza Vieja, another beautiful square where restored buildings now house galleries, cafes, and shops. 2. Malacan. The Malacan is Havana's iconic seawall and promenade stretching for five miles along the coast. This famous boulevard is one of the most popular places in the city, where locals and tourists alike come to enjoy the sea breeze, watch the sunset, and witness daily life in Havana unfold. The Malacan is particularly lively in the evenings when it becomes a gathering place for friends, families, musicians, and street vendors. The crumbling beauty of the buildings that line the boulevard adds to the allure of the Malacan, and you'll often see classic American cars cruising along its length. 3. El Capitolio El Capitolio, or the National Capitol Building, is one of Havana's most striking landmarks. Built in the early 20th century, it was designed to resemble the United States Capitol in Washington, D.C., but with a distinct Cuban flair. The building was once the seat of government in Cuba and is now home to the Cuban Academy of Sciences and the National Library of Science and Technology. The massive dome, which can be seen from various points across the city, dominates the skyline. Inside, you'll find an impressive marble staircase, ornate chambers, and a statue of La Repubblica, one of the largest indoor statues in the world. A visit to El Capitolio offers not only a glimpse into Cuba's political history, but also a chance to admire its grand architecture. For Castillo de los Tres Reyes del Moro. Guarding the entrance to Havana's harbor is the imposing Castillo de los Tres Reyes del Moro, commonly known as El Moro. This fortress, built in the 16th century by the Spanish, served as a crucial defense against pirates and foreign invaders. Today, El Moro is one of the most well-preserved colonial fortifications in the Americas and offers stunning views of Havana and the sea. The fort's iconic lighthouse, which still functions today, is a symbol of the city. Inside the fortress, you can explore the old military barracks, tunnels, and cannons, as well as a small maritime museum. Every evening, the fortress comes alive with the Canonazo de las Nueve, a traditional cannon firing ceremony that dates back to colonial times. 5. Fusterlandia. Located in the neighborhood of Jaimanitas, Fusterlandia is a whimsical and colorful outdoor art installation created by Cuban artist Jose Fuster. Often referred to as Cuba's version of Gaudi, Fuster has transformed his entire neighborhood into a work of art, with mosaics, sculptures, and vibrant murals covering houses, streets, and public spaces. The project began with Fuster decorating his own home and quickly expanded to include the homes of his neighbors. Walking through Fusterlandia feels like stepping into a dream world of bright colors and imaginative shapes. The community's artistic transformation has become a symbol of the power of art to bring people together. And it's a truly unique experience that showcases the creativity and resilience of the Cuban spirit. 6. Museum of the Revolution, Museo de la Revolución. Housed in the former presidential palace, the Museum of the Revolution is one of the most important museums in Havana and offers a deep dive into Cuba's revolutionary history. The building itself is an architectural gem, with its grand marble staircases, elaborate ceiling murals, and opulent rooms that once served as the home of Cuban presidents. The museum's exhibits chronicle the history of Cuba's struggle for independence, with a particular focus on Fidel Castro's 1959 revolution. You'll find photographs, documents, and artifacts from key moments in Cuban history, as well as displays dedicated to revolutionary heroes like Che Guevara and Camilo Cienfuegos. 7. Plaza de la Revolución, 
Plaza de la Revolución is one of the largest public squares in the world and holds great historical significance for Cuba. It was here that Fidel Castro delivered many of his speeches to millions of Cubans, and the square has been the site of major political rallies and celebrations. The most iconic feature of the square is the massive image of Che Guevara that adorns the Ministry of the Interior building, along with the famous slogan, Hasta la Victoria Siempre. Nearby you'll find the Jose Marti Memorial, a towering monument dedicated to Cuba's national hero. The memorial includes a statue of Marti and an observation deck that offers panoramic views of Havana. Plaza de la Revolución is not just a political landmark, but a place where Cuba's revolutionary spirit is immortalized. 8. Hotel Nacional de Cuba The Hotel Nacional de Cuba is one of Havana's most famous and historic hotels, known for its glamorous past and art deco architecture. Built in 1930, the hotel has hosted an array of celebrities, politicians, and cultural icons, including Winston Churchill, Frank Sinatra, and Ava Gardner. Perched on a hill overlooking the Malecon, the Hotel Nacional offers stunning views of the ocean and the city. Even if you're not staying at the hotel, it's worth visiting for a drink at the Garden Terrace or a tour of its impressive interior, which includes a museum dedicated to its history. The hotel also has a famous bunker from the Cuban Missile Crisis, which you can explore on guided tours. 9. Calajon de Hamel Calajon de Hamel is a vibrant alleyway in Havana that has become a hub of Afro-Cuban culture and street art. Located in the neighborhood of Cayo Hueso, this narrow street is covered in colorful murals, sculptures, and mosaics, all of which celebrate the African roots of Cuban culture, particularly the influence of Santeria, an Afro-Cuban religion. The alley is the brainchild of artist Salvador Gonzalez, who began decorating the area in the 1990s. Calajan de Hamel is also known for its live rumba performances, which take place every Sunday afternoon and draw crowds of locals and tourists alike. The rhythmic drumming, dancing, and vibrant artwork create an electric atmosphere that immerses visitors in the energy and creativity of Havana's Afro-Cuban community. 10. Gran Teatro de la Habana the Gran Teatro de la Habana, or Great Theater of Havana, is a magnificent building that stands as one of the most important cultural institutions in the city. Originally opened in 1838, the theater is known for its stunning neoclassical facade, adorned with sculptures by Italian artist Giuseppe Moretti. Inside, the theater's grand halls and ornate decor create an atmosphere of old-world elegance. The theater is home to the Cuban National Ballet and regularly hosts performances of opera, ballet, and classical music. Even if you're not attending a performance, it's worth visiting the theater to admire its architectural beauty and take a guided tour of the building. 11. Ernest Hemingway's Finca Vigia For fans of the legendary American writer Ernest Hemingway, a visit to Finca Vigia, his former home just outside Havana, is a must. Hemingway lived at Finca Vigia from 1939 to 1960, and it was here that he wrote some of his most famous works, including For Whom the Bell Tolls and The Old Man and the Sea. The house has been preserved much as Hemingway left it, with his books, furniture, and personal belongings on display. The lush grounds of the estate include a swimming pool, a tower where Hemingway wrote, and his beloved boat, Pilar, which is still docked on the property. 12. Tropicana Club The Tropicana Club is one of the most famous cabaret clubs in the world, known for its spectacular open-air shows and glamorous history. Opened in 1939, the Tropicana quickly became a symbol of Havana's vibrant nightlife, attracting international stars and visitors from around the globe. The club's nightly shows feature a dazzling mix of Cuban music, dance, and acrobatics, all performed by talented dancers in flamboyant costumes. The open-air setting with its tropical gardens and palm trees adds to the allure of the experience. Attending a show at the Tropicana is like stepping back into the golden age of Cuban entertainment, and it's an unforgettable night out in Havana. Havana is a city that defies easy description, a place where history, culture, and everyday life blend together in a way that's both timeless and dynamic. From the colonial splendor of old Havana to the revolutionary spirit of Plaza de la Revolución, every corner of the city tells a story. The vibrant street life, the iconic architecture, the music that fills the air, and the resilience of its people all make Havana a destination that's as complex as it is captivating. Whether you're strolling along the Malecon, exploring the art-filled streets of Fusterlandia, or dancing the night away at the Tropicana, Havana offers an experience that's unlike any other. As you explore its many attractions, you'll come to understand why this city holds such a special place in the hearts of those who visit.